All right, welcome everybody. Uh, Chris here. So a couple weeks ago, I did a, a video on uh, DoxyPoo. It's just an introduction to our DoxyPoo, Maximus. And when we, uh, when I introduced him, he had his full shag hairdo on. And so he looks considerably different when he's in full shag mode versus when he's in what is trim mode, right? And so I wanted to have a follow-up video. We just gave him a haircut yesterday. So I want to talk a little bit about that. And then, uh, yeah, give you, give you some visibility into what a, a full, fully trimmed doxy poo looks like right after uh, the trim. So, he, yeah, there's, so there's two things worth noting when it comes to haircuts for the little man. One, he doesn't like them. And two, I don't like to give them. Um, in the past, I've used clippers, and clippers have worked pretty well. But they tend to, they're not, they're not, uh, well, they're not reliably, they're not consistently reliable, right? So the, they just seem to either wear out or not work. So the last couple of times I've just resorted to scissors, regular old scissors out of the drunk drawer. So that's what we did yesterday. Uh, it did take two of us. Um, he doesn't, he's not a biter or anything like that. He doesn't growl, but he definitely squirms. He's a squirmer. So my kid uh, held him and then I and I trimmed them up using just a pair of scissors. And it took probably the better part of an hour and a half. And so in our house, the ritual is he gets the haircut and then he gets a bath, which he hates as well. And so when he senses the whole thing coming, and it's funny, he kind of has a sixth sense about it. Um, as soon as I started to prep, and all I did was clear off a part of the table and he instantly knew. And then he, was, he disappeared and was hiding under the bed. So he's pretty, he's almost 11 now. He's pretty savvy to the ways of the, to the hair cutting in the bath. Um, but this is it, right? So, um, you know, he'd gone far too long. I think that when we had him on video, that's about the, the time before, that's about as long as his hair's ever been. Uh, as anyone with a dog with long hair knows, they collect dirt, right? So probably there were two real problems with his long, long hair. One, that it was just filthy dirty. And two, it's hot, right? So as the, as the temperatures warm up, it was interesting because then I, I began to feel bad. He'd be laying in our bed and we'd be just about to go to sleep. And he's, <laughs> so I could see that he's panting a little bit because he's hot and he's just hot laying on our bed, not even under the blankets or anything like that. So his, uh, his hair of coat definitely helps to keep him warm, even if he doesn't need it. So that's part of the reason. Normally I'll give him a, give him a haircut in the winter time as well but this winter i just let it go because we had periods of sub-zero and i'm also pretty lazy so those two things combined i convinced myself that he didn't need a haircut in the middle of the winter but he got one now um his hair is still pretty curly if i'd used a trimmer i probably couldn't have got i could have gotten a little bit closer uh and getting a tighter cut but i think this is pretty good um, again all by scissors he looks a lot younger when he's uh, got a fresh trim, we call it the puppy cut. Um, yeah, so this is what I think he tends to look more like a dachshund when he's in this mode. Um, he also, when he gets a lot of fur, we, uh, at least my family members and close friends say he looks fat, but I don't think he's all that fat. I think he's just very hairy. Now that he's a little trimmed, I think, there you go. He's a little smaller dog. I think overall he weighs about, I wanna say 15 to 18 pounds. He's not a big guy. Definitely not the big guy in a dog park, but he does well in a dog park because most dogs don't even pay attention to him, so he can sniff whatever he wants without causing too much of a ruckus. Uh, but this is it. This is what a shaved doxy poo, at least a dark black shaved doxy poo, looks like right after a cut. And uh, yeah, so now you've seen both. You see the other video? That's the that's the the fluffy doxy poo. This would be the newly cut doxy poo. Well, I hope. Uh, Hope you enjoy. Well, if you got a doxy poo of your own, uh, good luck with the hair cutting. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe. See you next time.